seeing how things are working. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I can hear myself. All right, I'm starting soon. I'm gonna mute myself for now. Okay, I'm back. Double checking audio. Yes, all good. And can I still hear myself now that I've switched cameras? Yes. Okay. Let me put this headphone down. Alrighty, so where was I? I am working on this chair here. Where's the camera? Here. I moved some stuff around. I have, um, I think I mentioned it one time on the stream, a stream that I have this ring light thing with a um, phone holder. And I've managed to rig the webcam up on it. Okay, so I've done this. We're down to this part. And let's see if I can figure that part out. Okay, so we have two of these. And these are glued together. Actually, that has a. Let me see if I can cut that off. It's like a web of glue on it. The other side's okay. 
And that one's fine. So it says paste step 16 with step 18. So it looks like I paste it on and then start cutting. And make sure pencil side in. Trying to make sure that I'm in camera here. Uh oh, glue's coming out. Okay. And I have exciting news. There was a, a deal on another miniature kit yesterday. So I have the next one lined up to do. And it is the one that I actually wanted to do next. So it's called Nancy's Bakehouse. And I got it for about $10 off of what I normally see it going for. So I'm very excited. Come on. It really doesn't want to come out. There it goes. And it shows it way up, lined up there. So it shows it like this. In the picture. Except in focus. Whatever. Stupid camera. considerable amount of glue coming through. Um, and then it shows paste along the arrows in step 19. So it's saying, oh, you know what? It doesn't say to glue that on. Oh, well. I blew it. It meant to glue on the edges. So this will have to be the bottom one. At least there's two and one will be under the other so, so it won't be that big of a deal if I screw it up. Okay, so those two go up like that. And the bottom. Learn from the first one, I guess. Okay, so it says to do this. That goes way up higher than the glue did. To add some more. And then it just has this little, like, flap going up on the side. Okay. 
Okay. And then this part. Where did these parts go? So this part goes like this. And then I think this goes like in like this. Sorry, I think I'm pulling it off of the camera. And then these parts are going to go up last, but I think I need to trim that. So we're at this point. Where it's got that part heading up. And then this, it says like that. And then that goes like, yeah, I think that's what that is. And then the last two flaps go up. Okay. So, I guess technically, oh crap, the glue is going all over the mat. This is why I use a mat. Let's see if I can put this in here. There we go. Okay, let's see. I can get some of this glue in here. I need more glue than that. Any day now. Part of the reason it takes me so long to make these things, can't get the glue out. Okay, let's just do this. Not much left in this bottle. Oh, more than I thought though. Okay. Let's see how long that will last before it gets too dried up. I'm just going to put it on the fabric flap. Okay. 
Oh, you know what? I need to cut that down. That flap's not going to go. Now that will. This is a gluey mess. Hopefully I can make the next one better. Did I finish my coffee? I did. I finished my coffee. I was like, oh, I want a sip. Nope, all gone. Just water for you. Okay. Just do the whole fabric flap. Blech. Oh my goodness, I can't get that off my fingers. the fabric when I yank that like that. All right, not pretty. Let's see if I can get any of this off of here. Considering I put the glue on the wrong side. It's not the worst. That's not the worst. Okay. Come on, camera. See, it's obvious that there's some glue coming through. that. Now let's see if we can do it again, but do a better job. Okay. I feel like I should start on this end, even though it says to start on the other end. Well, that's one of the ends it says to start with. So let's see if we can do it without gluing the sides. And then all the glue will just be on the inside, which is probably what they really want. That's not the next step. Don't do that, Katie.
Oops. Come on. <laughs> I can't get it. There it goes. Oh, that could have been all longer. It's like super long on this side, but not that side. Let's hope it holds. Okay. Those were the first two. I think I could do. Come on, glue. Don't dry out yet. I wish my autofocus was a little better. I'm sure you do too. Okay, was this the next step? One of them. All this glue is not. It's getting pretty dry. I guess I needed to do further out. Yeah. Let's just do in here also. Or actually, let's do the flap. Oh man, that's just, that's not, mm. all right, can I get that to stay inside there? It's a little better. I have to trim that off, I think. Come on. Well, it's that big flap. Same on this side. Alright, let's see if we can get this flap to go in and that to carry over on top. I'm going to try to just do the edge of it. Okay. 
Oh man, glue is all over my fingers. I was thinking about doing my nails and I was like, why? I'm just gonna get glue all over them. The glue kind of tears up my nail polish. All right, so here's the two. One definitely looks better. Let me roll her in a little. Big difference. So if I can stack them, put that one on top because that one's nicer. Okay. Paste the two parts as shown. I think it goes inside to inside. Yeah, so the bottom is nice. And then it won't matter that some of the seams are a little excessive. There's still a bunch of glue on here. Let's see if I can get any of it out. any of this usable. That's pretty gummy. Yeah, it's not working. There it goes. And it says, paste A1 and A2 with C as shown. So this is C, and this is A1 and A2. Am I supposed to have... Like, are these supposed to... I think these are supposed to have another piece of fabric on them. Well, we're not ready to do that then yet, are we? Hopefully we have enough fabric left. Let's see if I do it. One of them is super wrinkly. Okay. What can I get out of this?
I'm off camera. Let me get this light in here closer. I just can't decide if the light is helping or not. And there's one. That'll work <clears throat> for this guy. And now we need Yeah, make sure I'm doing this the right direction. I think it won't make a difference once I cut it, but I have to use either side. Totally off camera. Close enough. Okay, so that one goes for that one. And yeah, it'll do. And this one goes for this one. I don't remember how I cut it. Cut the corners out. pieces like this to get around the corner. Uh, this is a weird It's 
something like that. Alright, what glue is coming out of here? Big old dried up glob. Oh boy, this is going pencil side out. That's not good. Leave it to me <laughs> to uh, not quite do it. Can I erase any of this? Where's an eraser? Oh, it's making white marks on it from the eraser itself. And not taking the pencil off. Okay, we'll just leave it. Ugh, that looks even worse. Okay, let's see get in this weird corner. Not great. Not great. It'll do. So here's the outside. I feel like this light's not helping. Let's see if I can change the... Is that better? Like a lower cool? Okay, so it's a little lumpy from the flaps of the other end and on this side it's not connecting completely and has pencil marks and lots of glue whatever my fingers are covered Looks even-ish. And then some corner pieces. Inner corner piece. And 
another corner. And then see what we can glue with this. Okay. Corners. Come on. Oh. Big old globby. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fold those in, fold this over. Just no pencil already makes this a little bit better. Oh, too much glue. That'll do. Check this out. Not terrible. And only one inside is gross. Well, grosser. <laughs> okay, let me get some of these little pieces, little corners out of the way. Get the new glue bottle out. I think I could still get some out of here, but um, it's bigger pain. I need to, as I always say. I need to look into better ways of using glue. All right, crappy scissors. Cut the tip off. And pretty sure there's also a seal. There's a seal here. And there's a seal on the inside of the cap. It's 
Sorry, it's like Wiggle City with this camera at the moment. could not peel it off, so I stabbed it. Oh, come off. Thank you. Yeah, good thing I didn't do my nails today. Now I need something to poke down inside here. Oh yeah, where's my... Uh, Good side up and we're going to glue the two sides on. Pardon my tummy. It wants to talk about almonds and chocolate chips, which was the last thing I snacked on. Oh, don't you do it. I wonder if I need to put some tape on there, or if I get the next part on it, it'll be fine. Paste B as shown. So I guess I'll do it this way, so that you see the nice side. I guess I should look at the time. And see how much time I have left before my lunch is over. Get in there. I need a mini lint roller, like it just a mini, mini. I guess I could get like a Q-tip or something in there. Okay. I think this needs to be up a little higher. Or the chair, the the sides need to be down a little lower. To make the back stick up higher. Okay, let me figure out how I want this. That can be even like that. And then this up a little higher, but not too high, just a little. It has 
glue all over it. <laughs> oh well. I'll get that glue off eventually. Okay. Um, probably good. And next will be the little feet. Do I have any tape, scotch tape? No, this will work. That's better not the best but it's better so here it is so far so you see the the back is on a little bit higher just a little so that it comes up at a curve Okay, next step is put the little tootses on, little feet. And they have them so that it's sticking out, like this little, this little foot part is facing out. And they're all at an angle. So let's, let's see if I can get some of this older glue out. Let me put the cap on this before I forget, just in case. Because I, I think like some about to dry glue might be better for these feet to get them to sit better. Come on. There it goes. That's a decent amount. Oh, it wants to keep going. Stop. Stop. Oh, okay. It's just going to keep coming out now. Is my tummy again? I'm sorry. I was going to eat a leftover quesadilla I made last week for lunch, and it was gross. I couldn't eat it. I had to eat different leftovers. I was sad. Quesadilla sounded good. 
All right, now I'm scooting them out to the outer corners somewhat. That's close enough. Let's see if we can get this in focus. Lots of webs. Let's put it down on the glue mat. Yay! It looks good for considering. Okay, move that aside. So I am done with these guys. And possibly all this fabric. I'll just scoot this aside just in case and throw it away later. Move that over there. Okay, next step mini round table bag number four has the pieces which is this box oh wait bag number four has a cylinder and fabric here's the fabric that's cute what is a 30, oh, I guess it's these little sticks. Three pieces, bag number four. And then the wooden pieces are in two. These three pieces. I'm not even going to look at the other thing. There's nothing else like this. <laughs> so, fix, insert the columns into the holes. Which holes are those? Fix as shown. chipped off the wood. Yikes. Well, hopefully that'll have something glued over the top of it. Because that, that came right off. Okay, throw that piece away. See? <laughs> chipped off the wood there. Go in the hole. Okay. Insert the column into the hole. Fix as shown. So this guy goes on top. It doesn't say glue, it just says fix. Okay. That fit on there. It looks like you're supposed to get it so that the sticks line up with the top here. So I'm cramming these sticks down in, trying to get them to come up. To the top. What do I have that I can press down on this with? It's hurting my fingers. My fingies. Let's use this paint tube. Paint 
bucket paint container. Oh no! Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Not only the timer, but. Come on. It won't focus. There it is. Look what I did. I made a mess. Okay, so let me let me be right back. I think I can continue, but let me be right back. I think it's this one. Here I am. Let's see if I can not mess this up worse. Sorry about the camera wiggle. They're most of the way up. I think they need to be all the way up though. That really hurts my fingers though. What do I have? Do I have a thimble? A cheap plastic thimble. Let's see if this will work. That might be good enough. I mean, it's getting covered up with fabric anyway. Okay, next. This little, this little triangle with little cutouts on it should glue into the, um, in between the legs. So let's see if I can dip here if there's enough without me getting the new glue. Okay, that's a little messy, but let's see if we can get it in there. Oh, it doesn't want it. <sighs> It does not want to let the legs come apart that far. There it goes. Scoot. How far up? It just says fix with glue. It doesn't say how far. it up a little or down depending okay 
that seems good. And then it says paste as shown complete. Fabric, 50 by 50. I need to cut this a little. Let's flip it over in case I need to draw on it. 50 is here. Oh yeah, I need to cut this. 50. And... 50. So let me draw a little bit of a line. And then after I get this on here, I'm going to go, because I'm technically back at work. Okay, so there's that. Get the fabric scissors. And this was in box four. So let's put it back. Just in case. And actually I'm gonna put these little scraps of red in here too, just in case. Okay. So here's this. And they just kind of like have it draped down. So let me see what I can get out of this bottle possibly. Or maybe this. Mm. This is pretty dry. I may be asking for it. Big old string. And can I get it to drape? You know what? This reminds me. I may want to peel this back off. I saw in one of my groups somebody had a really good idea for making fabric drape on stuff. Let me see if I can peel some of this glue back up off of here. When it's tacky like this you can kind of um, do like a rubber cement trick and pull the glue off. Well, sometimes. Not now. Oh well. Um, I think that somebody had a had a scheme where you like glue the fabric down onto aluminum foil, possibly, and then you can drape it as you need to. So I'm going to look that up, and um, maybe I'll have that for next time. So thank you for watching and uh, tolerating my adventures with glue. <laughs> See you next time!